Hey, hey, hey there, everybody. Zolosavia here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we began the Fire Temple, the fifth dungeon of the game, and were instructed by Darunia himself that he would be responsible for defeating the Dragon Volvagia, and he left saving the Goron people up to us, friends. So we quite the responsibility on our hands. So let's begin things off in the dungeon, this large death room. Very large room. I actually kind of like this room. It's kind of cool. The layout's pretty awesome, so we're gonna actually head over here. And as you notice up there, there seems to be a block, but friends, we've encountered these blocks before. We must play them pretty music, and they will move for us. Play songs for blocks, they will move. Excellent, so let's ascend to higher ground. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a little simple room. Oh, God! Evil stone tiles! Whatever will I do? I'll stand here stationary and take these hits like a champ. I never understood these guys, these little random stone tiles. It's like the only time they appear in the entire game is in this dungeon. Maybe a couple other times, but pretty much this dungeon exclusively. I don't think we've encountered these before, friends. These are the wonderful enemies we've all grown to know and love in the Zelda universe. These are the like lights, squishy weird things that eat our tunic and shield if we are stupid enough to get caught in the grasp, which hopefully I will not. Oh, he almost got me, friends. He almost got me. But luckily for me, I outsmarted him, and he will give us big oodles of money. And also, here's a conveniently placed gold skull for our convenience. Ha <laughs> ha Epic pose. Ding! Alrighty, that's all we have to do in here. A quick little perusing of the area. Just grabbing us a quick gold skulltula. And we'll head back down to the magic time stone of time. Because there was another door we must go into. I think the one actually houses a key in it, so we probably don't want that. Go back up from once you came, sir. I have had enough of your use, and I shall vacate you as such. Ooh, another twisty, windy tunnel, and you hit the switch and released the Goron prisoner. Hello, sir. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? There's a secret for safety. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron special crop will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. Hmm. Helpful tip there, Goron, buddy. Anyway, he was referring to uh, bombs or bomb flowers as the Goron special crop. So, uh, there is going to be doors in the dungeon we'll find that will actually sound different as we hit them. I'll make sure to hit the one first one we find to show you guys that out. But when I was a kid, I always confused something in this dungeon. The Gorons keep referring to something called the Goron special crop. And for the longest time, I honestly didn't know what they were referring to. I don't know why, but there are going to be points in the dungeon where they make references to things that just sound like they're not referring to what you would think they're talking about. It's kind of confusing. I really don't know why I am stupid. Oh god, I'm on fire. Oh god, lava. Link, Link! You're going to start burning, sir. There we go. This entire room is just filled with hazards. The hazardous hazard room. But here we go, friends, just as I said. Oh. Bam! Oh, I love that. That's so badass. Anyway, friends, see, we have this door here. See how it sounds a little bit different? Compared to... Quang, quang. Ding, ding. The Goron's advice worked, friends! Let's head in this door. Thank you, Goron brother, because your help aided us in saving another Goron brother. What's up, Goron? What's up, dog? Are you leaving? Am I free to go? Yes, you are. I'll tell you a secret for rescuing you. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut and activate. But you can also use the Goron's special crop to do the job. Hmm, interesting. Another useful tip. The Gorons in this dungeon just provide such helpful advice. Look at me, we got a key. There we go, friends. We got a key. Another small key for us. Let's leave this dreadful domain. All of the Gorons, by the way, all of the Goron prisoners are actually all the, most of them, I should say, not all of them, are all gonna be housed in a prisons that kind of resemble the one we just walked through. So if we walk into a room and it looks like that kind of Oh, what the what the heck, Link, what are you doing? 
Link, you're burning, sir. I figured you would know better than to want burning. Anyway. I guess I was trying to say. If we walk into one of those rooms that has those the dark stone in it, like we just saw earlier, using the Zagorn house inside. So now let's slide down the rail! Yeah. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Enough giddy happy times, friends. Let's we'll ascend to higher heights. And climb up here. Be very careful. I'm somehow magically standing on this thing. I don't know how. Oh, see, I can't even can't even jump. I'm just too fragile. Peace. One. Bro, I didn't think you'd like your brother dying that easily. Hearts! I love you, Keys. Thank you for giving me your hearts. Keys, hearts, eating bat hearts. I don't think bat hearts are as good as human hearts, but. Or monster hearts. But in order for us to ascend even further to higher heights, we must push this block off. And make it fall onto that lava y thing. Jump on it. And we're growing my rocket ship to the moon! I think it's gonna be a long, long time to touch down, bring it around again too fast. I'm not the link, I think I am at home. Oh no, no, no. I'm a rocket link. Rocket link, burning out his feet all back at five times. Anyone who knows what I'm singing or parodying, I uh, will applaud you very much. I don't know if my audience knows who that is, but if you do, I'm very proud of you, friend. Hmm. Here we have a puzzle. Oh, here we have a puzzle. Oddly enough, some of these puzzles really, really got to me when I was younger. I don't know. I always will. I will always go and say this. The next dungeon in this game is always labeled as the hardest dungeon in Ocarina of Time. In fact, probably one of the more annoying dungeons in all of Zelda. I honestly don't agree. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it until I get to that next dungeon because it's, that's when it's going to come in handy and people are going to want me to talk about it. I don't know. I just never ever thought that that dungeon was particularly intensely difficult. This dungeon as a child always brought me a lot of difficulty, but as we said earlier before I get too distracted. Oh, that didn't work. Anyway, I'm trying to confuse, confusing myself with trying to talk about meaningful things in addition to explaining the puzzle that I'm about to do. Uh, as you can see, there's a giant ring of fire here, so what we must do is fall down here without dying. And drop. This is how I always did it as a kid. We hit the switch with the bomb. Because the trigger is not very long. But luckily I outsmarted this silly game and used a bomb. As the Goron told us, we can use the Goron's crop to activate those switches. So it's very, very nice for us. Aha! Where are we now? A wall. We must have taken the wrong turn. Just kidding, we're in a giant labyrinth. This... This portion of the dungeon always confused me as a child. That's why I'm trying to say, as I was saying earlier, that this dungeon actually... There's a sculptor here. Where is it? Aha! I found it! Trying to say for the third time in a row, this dungeon as a kid always confused the crap out of me. There was a lot of tricky little passages, lots of hidden secrets, things that I did not know as a kid to look for. Namely in this room. This room always confused me when I was younger. It's so like, for example, right there, and there's giant rocks here to run into me and kill me and destroy my poor little soul. Um, I want to explore the entirety of this room before I go off and try to... Uh... Oh god, rocks! before I try to go and progress further, because there's a lot of stuff in here, if I'm not memory serves me correctly. I'm gonna be checking just in case, so pardon me if I'm hitting things that you clearly know aren't actual things. I must be thorough in my investigation of this room. I know there's another wall in here. I think there's- Oh God, Rock! <laughs> Link isn't too fond of rock and roll. Even the rock doesn't like my puns. Curse you, rock and roll! Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Another Goron prisoner. Hello, sir. Are you a little Virgo? I'll tell you a secret. For saving me. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When one of the doors falls and starts to fall, move. If you use a sample of the Goron special crop, you can break it. Once again, the Goron special crop just destroys everything in this dungeon. He might as well just say bomb flowers, because it's confusing! 
Sorry, I'll explain why I got confused with that as a child once again later. I don't know. I feel like I need to explain lots of things when I'm doing a dungeon. But I don't know what to explain, rock and rolls. I hate you. I'm not a fan of rock and roll, for goodness sake. Nor am I a fan of the Goron special crop. It's just too confusing. There's just too much of the crop going on. Link is not a farmer. Oh god, rock! Oh god! You just press me up against the wall, why don't you? Oh yeah, dude. Whoa, whoa, what am I saying? I'm getting a little too overly sexual for you, friends. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, what, what, what am I doing? I must pull out my trusty bow! And I could have gone the other direction for that. Like we say, friends, an eye for an eye makes the whole world successful. We must be very careful, because if we fall down here, it actually puts us, if we can see it, and you'll see a little clip of the bridge there. Oh, there we go. Much better view. It puts us back in that giant room we started the episode in, so I would like to not fall. Okay, good. Whew. Got a little precariously precarious here. Now I kind of sound like, I don't know, I'm trying to do like a voice from a character from a TV show. I don't even know. Check this shit out. You found the dungeon map! Fantastic, friends. Now we can see the giant layout of the rooms we're in. But we still need a key. We still need a key, friends. I don't have a key, and we need one, unfortunately. This is the part of the thing that I don't like about the thingy thing. I don't know. Like I said, this dungeon confuses me. I, I, I should have two keys by now, but I I legitimately do not really know where another key is. I mean, there, am I just missing a door? I'm probably just missing a door. Oh, I am missing a door. Oh, I'm missing a door. Not that door. Oh, God, rocks! Ah! Rocks, I hate you. Here we go. This is the door I was missing. I knew I was missing a door. There it is. It's another Goron. For goodness sake. You're free, brother. You're free. Are you really scared? Blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you another secret. These coins are just filled with secrets. When you are on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword. I can swing my... Oh, no. Not doing that. I'm not singing freaking songs that I sang when I was younger because I thought they were funny. No, I'm not singing that song. Anyway. Yes, we can swing our, swing our sword if we want to... Rid ourselves of fire. An odd technique of that, anyway. If we are on fire, we can swing a sword. If we are a burning, we can slash our blade. If rocks are chasing me down, I must run away! Oh god. That was horrifying. The rock somehow kind of knew I was scared of it, though, and stopped running. I wonder why. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. What was I doing there? What was I doing there? Why did I full sprint into that room? Oh my goodness, that was horrifying. That was the most terrifying thing ever. I don't think anything else could have scared me more than that. Oh god, fire! Ah! Ah! Well, that was anticlimactic as hell. <laughs> yes, that fire spawns the beginning of the room and it's supposed to chase you down through the entire length of this hallway. Or hallway, it's not like a hallway, I guess. But I immediately turned around and got nailed in the face by it, so I'm not exactly the bravest person in the world. Anyway, now we're above the room maze, and it's much easier to navigate. <laughs> oh, good. This is the part of the room I actually like, because I actually know what the hell I'm going now. Die, fire slug. Die. Foolish fool. Hey, Navi, what the fuck do you want, boy? Boy, what do you want? What do you want, boy? Let's go over here. Cause I know there's a go-on prisoner. Ooh. How many arrows does it take to kill you? How many arrows does it take to kill a... What is this thing called? A torch slug. I was close. Fire slug, torch slug. What's the difference? Oh my god, that rock almost clipped my foot and friended me from... Oh. Oh, you're gonna be that way, game. Well, I have to go hit the switch before I can get the Goron prisoner. Torch slug! You're on fire, but now you're not on fire. Now you're horrified of me. Why must you be so stupidly brave at times when you're not supposed to be? See, why don't all the freaking... This, this one always was dumb to me. It's like, oh, we're gonna put the switch over here. It's like, well, why did you put them everywhere else that was close to the door and the thing? I don't know. 
This dungeon is confusing to me. I don't know why. This dungeon is always confusing. I think it also has to do with the fact that you have to save these Gorons. I think that also adds a new unique flair to the dungeon. If you find a place that you can see on the map but you can't reach, try playing your ocarina. That actually holds a little bit of a foreshadowing. Something we're actually going to probably be getting after this uh, dungeon. Because I don't want to get it now. And I realized that I actually missed a lot of things that I probably should have by now that I don't. Because I'm a lazy person and stupid and don't get them. So after the uh, fire temple, we're actually probably going to go get a lot of things. Collect all the things. I think there's a... Is this a bombable area? No, the bombable area is over there. But anyway, we'll leave that to when we're done the fire temple. Mm, here we go. Bombable thing. See, like he's saying, we'll probably have the ability to do something up there. But not yet. Later. Later, later, later. Ow. Oh, it's okay, Link. Rub some dirt in it. Rub some dirt in your broken legs. That'll work, right? Hey, remember that Goron we saw earlier? He's free now. What's up, bro? Were you losing me? Yeah, you're free to go. Get out of here. Thank you. Here's a tip. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron special crop. That's all I have to do. Well, apparently the Goron's special crop just breaks everything in this dungeon. Hey, there's something that dances and is on fire? Break it with the Goron special crop. Hey, there are doors that fall on you. Destroy it with the Goron special crop. There are doors that you can't get into because they make funny sounds when you hit them? Goron special crop. Goron special crop all day, every day. And I have two keys again, and I don't know where to go now. Yes, friends, I'm honest. I'm an honest man. I actually don't know where to go. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of serious. I'm not really sure. <laughs> like I told you guys for the thousandth time, my opinion on this dungeon is a little different than others. I don't know. If people agree with me, please post in the comments that you do. I can't. I can't. Okay. <laughs> I thought I could have gone to that chain thing there. I could before. I guess I can't now. That's all I was saying. For those of you, I, I, this dungeon is difficult to my opinion. And there's a little bit of Link's crotch that you can't see through. That's kind of funny looking. Oh, Link has no... Really? 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 Okay. I thought they were gonna have... Oh! No, Link. Link. I thought they were gonna have me be like, No, you can't do that. You have to go far back down the hole or else you can't get up. We're gonna go back into this room. I forgot. This is actually where we have to go. See, I'm very absent-minded with this, friends. And there's the fire! Whoa, oh god! The bad fire skulls! Oh god, I thought I was gonna run right into that thing. Leap of faith! Oh, I definitely didn't make that leap of faith. Um, I guess I'm running into this firewall again. Firewall! You can't download this file link. You have the firewall. I definitely didn't make that jump. I definitely didn't make that jump. Well, I'm not gonna complain, though. I'm not gonna complain. Another Goron. Oh, not a Goron. I lied, friends. This passage does not lead you to another Goron. Where does it lead me? To the most second annoying room in this dungeon. Oh my goodness, this room. However, remember as that Goron stated earlier that we would need to find a way to lower that pillar in the center of uh, the room we met Darunia in? I almost said Darmani. Wrong Zelda game. You can see down from here. Isn't that the room where we saw Darunia? Yes, it is, Navi. Thank you for pointing out something that isn't immensely useless. But for everyone wondering why this dungeon room is annoying, yes, it's a maze that creates firewalls again. This room is just filled with firewalls. Apparently, it doesn't like us being, I don't know, whatever firewalls do in the grand scheme of things. Which I couldn't tell you because I am not a computer. Die, Keese! I am a slayer of Keese, that's what I am. Let's open this door. Oh, God! Bastard door! How dare you! I had enough of you trick doors in Luigi's mansion! Get out of here! Die! Ooh. Oh god! Uh. 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 This room! This room is distracting me, I can't think! Oh! Uh. Uh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I outsmarted the dungeon room. Now I'm in here and I don't know where to go. 
However, oh, wait, I think, I think... There's a temple of time block above me! I must play it? Yes! I must! Victorious! Victorious I am? However... Actually, no. We're gonna go up here. It's okay, Goron! We're gonna save you! Yeah! We're gonna save the Goron! <laughs> Alright, here, let's see. There's a door there. There's a switch over there. However, we can't hit that switch yet because we don't have a proper item. So let's go in here and get locked out and... Oh! Bugger me. That was not what I needed to do. Anyway, I think we need to go over here, actually. I lied to you, friends, and the firewalls are destroying me. Oh, God, and rocks. I already had enough of rocks. Rock and rolls are not my fans right now. I'm not very fond of rocks or rolls. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I make the weirdest noises. Oh, God. Oh, God. Link, stop running into firewalls. Damn it, Link. How do I get over there? Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, God. That's how I Oh, God, no. No. I had enough of this garbage. I had enough of this. What's this door? What's this door lead to? I haven't gone in the store yet. I don't think I've gone in the store yet. Oh, I haven't. Score. What could be? It's a big It's a big one. It's You can now see things location we couldn't see before. Oh, fantastic friends, we now have the compass and the map. Splendiferous, however, we are still missing one vital item of importance. If I can get there, because I am so oh, stupidly running into rocks and walls and fire and, uh, I'm burning. I'm burning even more. Do I have any healing items? I do, I do, I do, I do. Lon Lon Milk, it's been seven years since you've been drank. Milk, I don't think stays good for seven years. I really don't think I- Link, you just drank seven-year-old milk. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Link just drank seven-year-old milk, guys. He's a weirdo. Oh god, stop running into fire! Why am I so bad at this? Oh, 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 no, no, there we go. There we go, I remember. I remembered. And I- There is a roar in front of me. Half of my body was exposed to this wall, and I accidentally pressed X. This is how I get to the other side of the room. I'm a dum-dum. A big old stinky dum-dum. I can figure out how to... Yeah. This dungeon is just smiting me in every possible turn. Oh, I can't go that way, can I? Oh, okay. Um, alright. So we have to, what we have to do is there's a switch. Hit the switch. And then take advantage of that fire being down, and then run this way. I think, I think, I think, no, okay, I, I guess I can't, I sh that, that's not the way to go? Okay, I thought that was the way to go, alrighty, well let me reevaluate my situation here, so I, oh, it literally is just a straight shot, isn't it? It literally is just a straight shot. It is just a straight shot. You wouldn't figure that would be the case because of the fact that there was not straight shots every other situation. God, my God. This dungeon is confusing. I've told you that already, friends. I think it is. Anyway. Oh, God. Wait. What is that? Not the right door. Where's the right door? It's behind the right door. Damn, you're a smart smart. Oh god, it's the dancing fire things! The flare dancer! Extinguish its fire flaming close first. Remember what he said? Grind special crop! Ha ha ha! We cut you down to size! Oh, and you're not going to play around the rosy with me? How do you like these apples? Oh, I hit you once. I hit you once for Christ's sake. Yeah, this mini boss, by the way, friends, if you haven't told, noticed by now, is obscenely easy. You literally just wait for him to come out of the fire, because he stands still for quite a long time, and then just hit him with a bomb. It's really, really, probably the easiest mini boss I can think of in the game. Like, really not hard at all. We will, yeah, done already. That took me, like, what, 20 seconds? I will say this, this isn't a spoiler in any way, friends. We do fight another one of these guys. I just think it's hilarious how easy they are. That's kind of why I'm saying it. 
Oh, goodness. This is just, just way too easy. I don't understand why they did that. Anyway. Now that we've defeated one of those little flary flare guys. Hmm, you know what I'm saying, friends? In the next episode, let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We will continue the fire temple. Hopefully acquire the item possessed inside. And hopefully defeat Valvagia and free the rest of the Gorons. If you have not done so already, feel free to subscribe to my channel and leave a like and a comment on down below, friends. It would mean the world to me. And with that, I will see you all in the next glorious episode. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day.